What's going on YouTube? Another beautiful day. I'm inside of TA right now getting some uh, work done, some electrical work. Basically, I didn't have no power to the trailer as far as lights at night, so uh, I was kind of, you know, getting into my money. Well, actually, it wasn't getting into my money. I was just taking a risk of renting with no trailer lights, but you don't want to rent that risk too long. So, uh, as you can see down there in the panel down now, um, he said one of the studs is bad on the fuse, on one of the fuses, so he's trying to uh, rewire it to something else with constant power. You know, he had a little tester kit. Oh, there it is right there. He got the little tester right there. So, uh, he gonna do that, and that should give me trailer lights, and also I need a new, uh, wow, we got dark, huh? Oh, there we go. Y'all like them blue lights? Oh, man, I forgot to change them two right there. I need to change them two lights right there. Somebody asked me, what is this right here? Oh, uh, that's just a timer. I can turn that, and it's just a countdown timer. As far as that hole right there to the left, give me a second. Okay, so like I said, he's working with that right there at TA. And uh, as I can see, we got all those lights. But as far as that gauge right there, there's, there's no gauge in it, it's just cut out. Uh, I can add whatever gauge I want in now. Uh, I just need to go and find whatever gauge that I want to put right there. And it's just an open slot for a gauge. So um, when I get time, I mean, I pretty much got all the gauges. But as I can see, everything is all lit up. Except my uh, pyrometer gauge. Uh, I need another big light that goes in there. Oh, wait, can y'all see? Go up like this. Oh, okay, there we go. Y'all see? That's what all the gauges look like. So that's where we at with it. What's going on, YouTube? Another day, another dollar, huh? We are currently sitting inside a 12.7 60 series Detroit Diesel Freightliner Classic XL big condo sleepers you can see it's a lot of room in the back back there a lot of room in the back um currently inside the ta shop right now getting the trailer looked at because uh i don't have no tail lights whatsoever at night and uh, i don't need to be getting pulled over so <laughs> right now we're inside the ta shop they said i need a new seven way for the trailer so I'm gonna let them install that and see if that uh, fits the issue or not. So that's what they're doing right now. I just pulled it in, so they haven't got started. They just he just diagnosed the problem and said, "Yeah, man, uh, probably need a new seven way on the trailer side." So that's cool with that. I had also got me a green electrical line on my end. Let's see, well, it's too far back there, but I got a new green electrical line on my end. But when I plugged it in, that wasn't the issue. So on the trailer side let them figure out that electrical workout other than that uh before i came to ta i was at another shop i took this to a um like a dealership to go and uh, get looked at because when i bought the truck i was having uh, i don't know if i told y'all or not i was having like boost pressure issues um basically uh, nothing well i thought it was turbo related that's why i went and got the tune it's not turbo related so let me tell you the issue first so um on the boost gauge you know y'all saw how i was getting plenty of boost and all that well ever since i got the truck what was going on is when i'm driving uh i would get up to like 30 psi boost 20 psi boost the number don't matter and then i would lose all my boost to zero and then it would suddenly shoot back up to 30 or wherever it was at so i was losing boost so I finally was able to get into a shop. Now, now that doesn't it doesn't affect the trucking. I mean, it, it slows me down, but I'm already going so fast that it really don't matter. But um, I took it over to a shop up here, uh, dealership, whatever they called, and uh, 
The guy hops in the truck with his laptop, him and his other mechanic, take it out for a test drive with it hooked up to the uh, computer. Comes back and he says, I'm just gonna read with the paper. I'm reading the paper. It says, I'll just flip the camera and show you. All right, customer complaint. Customer states, unit gets 30 PSI boost, then drops to zero, then comes back to 30 PSI. Uh, 30 is just a number, it don't, it could be any of those numbers up there. I just told him 30 just so he get an idea, but anyway, it's connected to truck with computer, verified the boost gauge on the dash, matched with the ECM boost reading. Readings were the same, test drove the truck, verified customer complaint. Monitored live data during the test drive, measured accelerator pedal position, and commanded engine load readings would drop out. Troubleshooting points to accelerator pedal assembly. So they saying it's the actual pedal down there. They said it's the actual pedal, some type of sensor. Uh, so they ordered, um, this is the part number, it's called a, there it is. Throttle pedal assembly. Uh, that's the label. Oh, there we go. So the price for that about two hundred dollars. So uh, they they won't get it here till Monday. So they gotta come back in Monday. But I already paid you for it and everything. You got prepay. So that's where we at with it. Something simple. First uh, big repair on the uh, Freightliner Classic. Okay. 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 It's Andrew the Great. Okay, so anyways, like I said, take it to the mechanic. I don't really recommend people go to dealerships. I, I just ended it up there because I ain't got no mechanics established in this area yet at least. Okay, so I went there. I knew it was going to be a big bill. Turned out to not be such a big bill. Only $900. I was shocked. I was shocked because I just knew right off the top when I asked, hey man, how much y'all charge you hour? He said, 170 I said, yep. And then, nah, wait a minute, that wasn't his drivers. He said, he said 170, and it's uh, usually because it's electrical, it's gonna be two to four hours, just diagnostic. So right off the top, I thought it was a thousand dollar bill minimum, just walking in the door. But I was shot. No, nah, he got in the truck, man. As soon as I walked in there, I didn't have to do no waiting at this at this particular dealership over here. I didn't have to do any waiting. Uh, once I uh, signed the paperwork saying that he could start on it. He walked out to the truck with his laptop and his other mechanic. They hopped in here and took off. Came back 30 minutes later, told me exactly what the problem was. And um, told me how, how much it was going to be. I just showed y'all the paper. They just ain't got the part. Otherwise, they would have installed it and I would have been happy. But uh, I say, I, total, I was probably there about an hour, 30 minutes. That's all I would say. So, so far, I like that particular shop or dealership. You know, I don't really deal with people like that. But... Hey, you know, uh, I got to keep my operation going, so, you know, I don't have no, no shops around here, and not in this area, that I can just go to, uh, but today I think that was a good deal, so, anyways, basically what he was saying was, you got the throttle pedal, when you put your foot down, you got two sensors, one on the left, one on the right, uh, I guess it's, I don't know, I forgot what the sensors is called, but it's a throttle response sensor, I guess, call it that right there, so, Basically, if you wiggle the pedal a little bit, it uh, stops reading, the sensor stops reading, and you lose uh, RPMs, you lose your boost, you lose it. The truck just slows itself down until the pedal basically strains back up, and then the sensor reads again, and you get all your power back. So, uh, that's what he was saying the issue is, and they'll fix it Monday. So, that's the end of that. Other than that, what else is wrong with the truck? Um, hey, just need some more tires. Just need to finish doing the tires on the truck, new steers, all that. Get one of them uh, three uh, three axle alignments. As far as underneath the hood go, everything is pretty much solid underneath the hood. The only thing I could possibly do is, uh, if I want to, I could put a new clutch fan on. And uh, I can do a new clutch fan. I can put a new turbo since I don't know how old the turbo is. So clutch fan, about 750. That turbo over there, I think it's like a thousand, maybe eight hundred, somewhere right in there. Not something. Neither one of those is just something I got to do. I'm just saying that's just what I could do because it's already got a new starter, new air compressor. Uh, I think I did the alternator. And I know I did the batteries. Um, what else? Got the electrician right here, man. He uh, finna get started on the trailer. Other than that, I like the 12.7, man. Real strong engine. 
not much maintenance required on this truck. You know, I spent 1600 last week on them tires back there. I got a whole back road back there. So, and I went with name brand. Not that I was trying to go with name brand. Y'all know I'm cheap. I was looking for the Chinese. But, uh, went to a tire shop that said, hey, uh, man, we don't, we don't do that Chinese. We don't do, we ain't got, we got name brand. We got Yokohama, we got Falcons, we got Bridgestone, Michelin, whatever they call. I said, man, uh, Give me the uh the Toyo, Toyo tires, man. Give me the Toyos. Make sure they open shoulder. I want the open shoulder tires. It was like four, four fifty a tire. So we got those for the third axle back there. Um and yeah, rest really really I just need to get another another roll of tires and I guess brand new steers. I mean ain't nothing wrong with these steers right here, but I don't know how long they've been on here. I get brand new steers. I wanted Yokohamas though, but um, he told me they didn't have Yokohamas. That's how I ended up with Toyos. Since I had to buy name brand, it was all about the, well, I think he said the Yokohamas. Four, four, I say 450? I think the Yokohamas was like 500 tire. But like I said, he didn't have Yokohamas though. So that's where we at with that. I know y'all probably think, Andrew, why you just do tires all the way around? Because when he said name brand only, just give me the back row. <laughs> then I figured out I didn't even need to buy the tires at all for what I was doing. So, but it's all good though. It's all good. I didn't know um, everything is on pavement out here. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't know that. I thought I was doing some off road, and that's why I wanted the off road open show. Let me uh, check your fuse panel down there. Oh, all right. 